Hello, friends, family, and countrymen. Let's talk about the friend zone. It's a weird, weird topic to discuss, I bet, uh, for some of us. But let's really, let's really talk about it for a second. So, friend zone. What is it? That's the area of life where you are not sought after by someone you seek after. Basically, someone that you like doesn't like you back, so you're friend zoned. But you know what? There's no zones in life. There's no friend zone. There's no relationship zone. No. There's, you're either dating, you're friends, or you don't know each other. Those are the three things. So, to all those fellas chilling in the friend zone, take a nap. Like, dang, son. I have been hearing a lot recently. That's why I'm making this video. I've been hearing a lot recently about a few guys uh, that I know in my general area. I almost hit a bird. Oh, poor little birdie. Anyways, people that I know in my general area that whine and just cry and cry and cry about how some girl that he's been friends with for like multiple years now won't love him back. And it's like, can you get over yourself a little bit? Like, instead of pining over someone who doesn't like you, why don't you go find someone who does like you? Like a normal, rational person. Instead of writing love letters and, um, just sticking around forever, maybe get over it a little bit. Now, when I say this, I'm not talking about girls who... Let me give you an example. There was this girl that I knew in Nebraska who several times we went out, you know, uh, like on actual dates. And then she would just kind of ignore me. And then we would go, to out, go out again. And then she would ignore me. I didn't pine after that. But I could have if I really wanted to because that was very confusing of a situation. However, if from the very first moment someone says, mm, I'm not interested, I'm sorry, and you keep chasing after them, what is wrong with you? Get over it, move on. She don't love you, I'm sorry. Dang. It's sad that in today's world, full of internet dating and catfishing and all that fun stuff that we're so focused on sometimes stalking one person like goodness gracious it's ridiculous so do you want to know I, I will offer this piece of advice do you know how to get out of the friend zone? Here is my advice. Don't get in the friend zone. Don't think of it as a friend zone. Think of it as friendship, sure. Not a friend zone. If you stay in a friendship because you think that at some point you're gonna get a relationship with that person, you're not a real friend. You're a crap person. And you need to get over yourself. So, that was some loving conversation about the friend zone. And I am sorry that that seems so intense. Um, this is actually the fourth video I've made today. This is the only one that I'm posting because the rest of them got deleted somehow. And it's ridiculous. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, friend zone doesn't exist. Get over yourself. 
unless you're five years old. And I know I was about to end the video, but what really bothers me about this friend zone idealism is it's people with rational thinking. So from about 15 up, guys still believe in the freaking friend zone. I get it if you're 12 and you're like, oh man, she put me in the friend zone. Uh. Like, cool. Yeah, you're 12. You don't even know what a relationship is, generally. I have met some relatively adult uh, 12 year olds and like, good for them. But, you don't know what a real relationship is at 12. I'm sorry. Generally. But when you're like 15 and you start actually dating and such, and you're like, oh, I'm so in love with her, but she doesn't reciprocate my feelings. Too bad. Like, get over it. Goodness gracious. The friend zone does not exist as an idea for you to feel crap about yourself. Like, come on. All right, now I'm gonna end the video. Sorry, I'm at like a really high level right now of intensity. Um, you know, you understand me, internet. Um, so yeah. Uh, one of my next videos, I'm gonna talk about something that has been relatively big thing uh, recently um, and that's the YouTube community I know a lot of people make videos about it but I have been a part of YouTube since 2006 uh, which is the year after it came out you know so the year after YouTube was a thing I became a part of the thing and so now with so much happening and it's become a business, uh, a place of business and um, products. Uh, it's become the start of so many things. And with it being a business and with it being so many things, there's a lot of controversy going on. So in my next video, I will talk about that. Um, more specifically something much more recent uh, as well as some some things from the past that uh, still bother me to this day uh, so that's in the next one not this one I'm sorry I have spent so much time on it all right I'm gonna end this video uh, I will see you guys in the next ep uh, these are episodes now by the way driving with Nick is now my series why not I will see you guys in the next episode because that's what I do. I make these things for you people. And for myself sometimes. Like if I just need to hear myself talk. Because I am drop dead gorgeous. And I have this, the voice of an angel. Alright. I will talk to you later. Uh, goodbye. And see ya.